Welcome to this Angular Carousel Component tutorial. With the Syncfusion Angular Carousel Component, you can display a series of images with content and links like a slideshow. It's an excellent fit for scrolling news headlines, articles on home pages, and image galleries. In this video, I will demonstrate how to create an Angular app and add the Angular Carousel component with a few of its basic features such as changing indicator types, hiding indicators and navigation buttons, customizing navigation visibility, and binding data sources. Let me start with the application creation process. I'm going to create an Angular application using the Angular CLI tool. Make sure you have installed the latest version of Node.js. I will edit my code using Visual Studio Code and view the output on Google Chrome. To create a project in Angular, I open Visual Studio Code and install the Angular CLI using the command npm install hyphen g at angular slash CLI command. I use the ng new project name command and name my project my app. I want to add a CSS style sheet to the project, so I choose the CSS option. The project creation has started and an Angular project with its dependencies is created. Now let me navigate to the project folder. To add the Syncfusion Angular Carousel component, install the Syncfusion Angular Navigations package using the command npm install at Syncfusion slash EJ2 Angular Navigations hyphen hyphen save. This will install the package along with its dependencies. The application is now ready to use. The first thing I must do here is register the trial license key to use Syncfusion components. So I open the main.ts file and import the register license method from the Syncfusion EJ2 base package. Using this method, I register the trial license key. To generate this license key, refer to the link in the description below. Now, the application is configured to use Syncfusion Angular components. Next, I navigate to the app component TS file and import the carousel module from the Syncfusion Angular Navigations package. Then, register it with imports in the component section. To apply styles to the carousel, navigate to the styles.css file and add CSS references by importing the material theme. Next, I need to add the Angular carousel component. So I move to the app component HTML file and remove its default content first. Then I add an HTML division element with class attribute within the division element. I add the carousel component by adding EJ's carousel tag. Now I plan to display five images in the carousel component. So let me add the eCarousel items tag. This will accept n number of carousel items in it, but I include five carousel items using the eCarousel item tag. Inside each item tag, I add an image by adding a figure element using the ng template tag. Here I include an image tag specifying the image location in the source attribute. Then I add alternative text using the alt attribute with custom height and width using the style attribute. For better alignment of the image inside the component, I add the image container class to the figure element. Similarly, I add images to other items. Inside style.css, I define the container and image container classes with styles like height, width, and margin. Finally, let me run the application using the ng-serve command. Looking here, the carousel component is rendered with images arranged like a typical slideshow. 
the images change automatically at regular intervals. Notice here that an indicator is shown to indicate the current page of the carousel. It also allows you to navigate to a specific page by clicking on it. You can also manually navigate to the next or previous images by clicking the navigator buttons. Now to display a caption for these images, I add the fig caption tag with an appropriate value. I also add an image caption class to align the caption. Similarly, I add captions to other items. Then, I define the image caption class inside the style.css file and add the required styles, color, font size, and position. See the carousel component is rendered with image captions. Next, I will show you how to change the indicator type. I'm going to display the carousel component with a fraction indicator type. I set the same type in the code. Look, the indicators in the carousel component are rendered with fractions. Likewise, you can also change indicators type to dynamic and progress. By default, indicators are shown in the carousel. To hide it, Set the show indicators property to false. Now indicators are hidden. By default, previous and next buttons are shown. Suppose I want to make it visible only on hovering over them. Define a button visibility variable of type carousel button visibility and set its value to visible on hover. Before proceeding, let me import carousel button visibility from EJ to Angular Navigations to access it. I will assign this button visibility variable to the button's visibility property of the carousel in the app component HTML file. Check how buttons are visible on hover. Next, let me show you how to hide the next and previous buttons. By default, these buttons are visible. To hide them, I add the button visibility property and set it to hidden. Check now, the previous and next buttons are hidden in the slide. Finally, to bind carousel items from a data source property, remove the carousel items already defined. Inside the app component file, I define an array named birds list which holds the array of objects with ID name and image name fields. To get the image location using the image name field, I define the getImage method. To bind this birds list, I use the data source property. To add images to the carousel, I define an ng template tag with reference ID I tem template. Also, I define a variable named data to access data source fields inside the template section. Then, add an image element within the figure element tag. To get the image location, I add the source attribute and assign the getImage method by passing the image name using the data parameter. Additionally, I also set the alt attribute and assign the image name. Then, I set the height and width of the image. The carousel is now rendered with items retrieved from the data source. In this video, I have shown you how to create an Angular app and add SyncFusion Angular carousel component to it and a few of its basic features like changing indicator types, hiding indicators and navigation buttons, customizing navigation visibility, and binding data source. If you want to see a working example, you can download it from the GitHub link given in the description below. I have also provided a link where you can see if you qualify for a free license key to use our Angular products through our community license. If you find this video useful,
Please like and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.